32 pound mirror that. I was going to say is uh, that was my 14th fish of this session on a 32 pound mirror. But then this fish came along. Let's see if I can't get this in there. Well, that was 15th fish actually. Yeah, let me talk to you whilst I'm doing this. Right, yeah. Uh, Howard came and did the last night with me. Action! Come on, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking to my th third night tonight. And I've put loads of bait out for me. I put... 30 kilos of boilies in and it's just coming to fruition now I've had 28 or 27 yesterday and lots and lots of 20s and 15s and 17s and all that jazz but I haven't been weighing the smaller ones I just put that one on the scales now and that one is 32 um, and it's my first 30 mirror of the year and it's my first session after lockdown so uh, I had to get out obviously and had to do a few days and it's just starting to come good now is this swim with the bigger fish I think. Um, this is the gear that I've used at the Canamani at the river and um, it's savage tackle I know but I need it these snakes. Forgive my speed but there's a lot of fucking things to do. Gotta get other rods out, gotta get more bait out. Uh, I think 16. That, that, that rod that just ripped off just now. Quite a pretty looking mirror, really. I don't know, double, but I'm going to give myself £12 for that. I'm not going to weigh it. Is uh, 32 pounds. Obviously, doesn't like being caught. I 
you might have seen him before. I want a still of this one, because I might have seen him before. Let me get a still of that. Right, I'm going to put this into context now. Uh, it is Thursday and I came here on Tuesday. The sanctions got lifted on this lake this Monday uh, and we walked around it at the weekend or it got lifted at the weekend and anyway so I came here on Tuesday and started piling the bait in and I mean piling it in I had the biggest load of boilers I think I've ever bought that I can remember anyway I got 26 kilos from the shop plus what I had left over I equated it to be about 30 kilos of bait plus hemp and pellets and yada yada so um, I just basically was put in like 10 kit oh mom wait no 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 Thank you. Uh, yeah, so I'll read right. right, so yeah, started putting the bait in and I started catching fish from the off. And uh, I ran out of small particles, which I wanted to do. And now I'm just feeding 20 mil boilies and have been doing for about 24 hours. And I've just got that 32 pounder. Yesterday we had a quadruple take, me and uh, Howard. He did 24 hours, 30 hours with me yesterday. He had five fish out, lost one. I think I've had 15 now, lost about five. But water levels rate way high and a kite left and right. That 30 pounder led me a merry dance, but I'm a plodding lake, you know, and I'm adamant I've seen him before. Uh, yeah, it's good to be out. It's hotter than what I thought. I'll be sun tanned and all that jazz. Um, I'm limited water and food, etc. Very limited. And um, limited patience because last night I didn't have a very good night's sleep at all probably the worst I've ever had due to the mosquitoes and the rods busting off left right and centre but tonight I think I'll have a little bit more concentration I'll put the bed chair down by the rods um, that was the, I think the afternoon feeding spell that could bust off at any minute but I'm putting two or three or four spoms out every fish or every bite or whatever you know there's been baiting this swim now for three days which is what I'm hoping to do. Uh, Howard had a 25 pounder this afternoon as he was leaving and that was crapping the bait out. So that's a good thing. Um, I am hoping for a big fish and I'm not gonna do pieces to camera or rigs or anything like that per se because I wanna save my battery and my phone's about dead. Whether I edit this into a video or not, I don't really know. I'm gonna just save this for posterity and um, posterity, put posterity and just try and get some kind of continuity in it. I've been sat at home for eight weeks doing chuff all and it's been annoying the granny out of me. So it's good to be out and um, it's good to be catching fish. Um, I should have brought more bait, I'm running out. Um, and Poppy is being a twat. Poppy? Poppy? Right, see you later. What are you doing? Right, I've got to work quick here. Uh, I've had a treble take. 
and uh, the last one is still in the net. It's hooked, but it's still in the net. I've got one rod back out fishing, and I've got to put some bait in right now. The biggie took it on the drop that I'm about to show you now. So I'll talk you through the story whilst I'm doing this. The um, left hand rod goes, hook into a fish, goes through the middle rod, uh, kiting right, picks up me right, what I think, thought was picks up me right hand rod. So I get the fish in the net. Uh, now there's a fish on the right hand rod. So I reel the middle rod in, because that's loose out there in the lake, put it on the bivy. Then deal with the second fish on the right hand rod which turned out to be the common. So I've got a mirror, a common and another mirror. So whilst I've got them in the retainer sling desk down there just to give you a piece of camera, I managed to get the middle rod out, back out again on the spot, just picked it off the bivvy, chucked it back out again and within 15 seconds of the boilie landing on the bottom, it's away again. And that's the bigger of the three. So I'm going to call that a treble take. I know it wasn't all at the same time, but I had one on the left, one on the right, one on the middle. So, both retainer slings are, are uh, full of fish, and I need one to weigh this fucking biggie, so I'll start with the common, which was the second of the triple, on the right hand rod. Which I'm not going to weigh. I'll just show you that. You're a bit pissed up there, fellas. You all right? Sorry about the filming, I've just been busy fishing. There you go. So, common carp, right hand rod. It went off when I was playing the left hand rod. So that is a true double take. And it's freaking manic. So, so I might not get to show you. Come on, little fishy. There we go, mid double. Common, right? Fish number two. Oh hell, the big boy's off now. Alright, I need that weighing sling to weigh this other carp. Swimming away with net now. So this is fish number three of the triple. And this could go 30. Certainly high 20s. This took the bait on the way on the drop. Well, just as it smacked the bottom. So, let's get all this line out of the way. That's dropped the lead. Oh, so yeah, multiple takes are the norm rather than the exception on it. Come on, it's a big fish, is that? Lose that net. And I want some stills of this one, so 
I'm going to put him back in the retainer. Oh, come on, you baby. There he is, that's fish number three of the treble. That's high 20s, not quite a 30, but I don't know yet. I'm going to give him a breath of fresh water. The mirror, the first fish. All right, quick snap. I'm going to get, a, get this on the scale now. Guess at 27. Whoa. Where is the bloody scales? Second 28 of the session, right, I'm going to get a photo. The result of about, I don't know, my fifth double take. Brace of upper double mirrors, I'm going to say. Uh, just upper doubles, really, there's the mirror. It's nice to get a mirror in a common. But I just, I'm just leaving the second rod running. If this, I mean, this common picked the, the bait up after that mirror with two rods in. Now I've only got one in. Uh, so when, so when this one was being played, I thought it was a bigger fish, and I just let this one run and run and run and run and run. But it put uh, loads of twists in the line, which I've had to de, de twist them and yada yada. But um, no, it's nice to get two at once, again, the common in the mirror. Right, you can't say I don't suffer for my art. It is mozzy central. I'm just get prepping for the night and I've got to get inside the sleeping bag pretty much now. Um, I've, I've run out of bait basically, I've got three kilos left but that'll just keep the swim ticking over. But I spawned in some old PVA bags that I had, some freaking solid ones, that I, I don't know why I made them up, I just did. And literally a carp came up and took it off the surface, a whole PVA bag off the surface in five metres of water, I am not joking. So listen to the mozzies, there was a carp. And watch the dog, watch this. She's getting eaten as well. Look at all them on a bum there, look. So, there was just fish everywhere. Mozzies everywhere. Right, that was the last night I'm going to do. Um, it was absolutely terrible. The mosquitoes were a nightmare and I could only keep one rod in the water. I've only got one rod in the water now. Um, there's fish boshing absolutely everywhere. Dave's coming down today after work, but I'm not doing a night with him. I can't. I was at my wit's end last night and so was Poppy. The mosquitoes were unbelievable. There's a carp. And, um, you know, what's the point, like, you know, I've caught loads of fish, there's no biggies in here. There just isn't. 
30s. I've had that 40 last year. It's just not worth fishing. Um, well, it is worth fishing. I mean, it's sport, don't get me wrong, but it's just tiresome. Basically, the more you, the more food you put in, the more you catch. Dave comes up with some seriously good excuses today, uh, all the time, not today, all the time, with uh, why he doesn't catch. And he doesn't listen to a word anybody says. We call him Top Blanker, so um, hopefully I'll, I'll get him on camera today, because that'd be quite funny when he turns up. I've just had to delete some footage to get space on the sound card, so on the digi card. So uh, there we go, there's a Raho sunrise. I can't photograph the uh, carp, I'm not quick enough, and um, I haven't got to zoom in enough. You never know where they're going to pop up. They're either going to pop up here, and there was one just there, or here, or around these trees. And look, that was, that was a carp there, look. And another one there. Middle rod, some, you know. One there, one there. Right, where's the next one going to pop up? Nobody knows. That's just it. Sitting here holding the camera, talking to you guys, waiting for a carp to stick his head up. I'd rather be asleep, as I'm sure you would too. Right, well, this came out of nowhere, middle of the day. Uh, £31.2. Uh, sweet uh, snowman rig, yellow pop up. Just chucked it out there on the off chance. Whew, second 30 of the session. 31 pound two. Let's get, him, let's get him back. He fought like a tiger did this one. You can come with me. Pretty standard common carp. Just thought I'd show you one of these. This was a long lean one, fought like a tiger. Slightly less than 20 pound, I'm gonna say. Um, snowman again, so that gets me the day bite. And uh, yellow pop up on top of it, so uh, let's get it back here. And there it goes. Do I do an outro now? What do you think? Should I do an outro? Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and all that jazz. Tally for, to, for this session. Three nights, two thirties, three twenty-eights, two twenty-sevens, and the rest have been like that. Cheers.